Okay guys, so what we're doing right now is gonna, we're going to build a shelter. We're going to do a platform with an A-frame. And what uh, Santos and Rito are doing here right now is just setting up the main post. We're going to put uh, four beans and start uh, putting the floor down. And then we're going to do an A-frame and we're going to patch it up with royal palm. <laughs> This A-frame jungle hooch is, is pretty simple to construct. Uh, there's not a whole lot needed. It's all primitive, really only, the only thing we've used is a machete. We've got four Y sticks sharpened at the bottom and they're just pounded into the ground. There's one, two, three, four, actually five, and then we're using some of the existing trees. We've got a main header beam that runs across the top and we're just taking, uh, you know, wrist size sticks or smaller and we're building the frame so that we can lay our royal, royal palm uh, thatching over the top of it. And then we're probably going to build a, a little platform over here to sleep on up off the ground. I mean, we literally have bullet ants very close uh, to the camp. And then over here, we'll probably just have a little area for a fire pit or something like that. We're just going to kind of play it by ear. Now that we got our royal palm, what we did is that we cut it in half and we are weaving it into the structure with a single uh, jungle vine. And then we're putting it like a, an inch apart from each palm. As you can see beneath it, you know, it's really, really watertight. So the Ramas are going to finish this side and then you guys from Sigma are going to be taking over this other side. As you can see, it's a very simple method. We have invested about uh, two hours in this and it's, get, it's, getting, it's going nice. Easy. You see, grab it like this, and then we get smoke break. It's a cocktail. Oh, nice. Top of top. Tight. <laughs> so, guys, we cut the palm in two. And we use one side for one side of the roof and the other side for the other side of the roof. This because we have to uh, lay them over like an inch apart. And that way the leaves and the patterns go all the same way. And so when it rains, you know, the water's going to drip, you know, and they're going to be no, uh, pretty much no leakage on it. All right, guys. So uh, we're about to wrap up our A-frame structure. Uh, we just finished doing all the thatching. And we did a, almost like a, a whip stitch kind of style weave on it. And so, Basically what we did was we split the, the royal palm and then we took the, the cordage from the jungle vine and we did a really quick whip stitch around the, the stalks of the jungle or the royal palm. What we're doing. Okay, we're gonna cover it over the top here. Without me. Any specific way we're we're laying the leaves? Yeah, you need to the right side. To the right, you go to this side. To the left, you come and the other way. Okay. That's what I mean. oh, I got a camera too. Para
So all you're doing to getting this started, see that one, you're going to come over the top, back around, and through the same line. And then pull it tight and cinch it over. And then come to your next one, over the top, back through the loop. We've got the platform completed. All we did was make a very simple frame. Um, holding it up with some Y sticks. We use vines to lash it to the main portion of the roof um, trusses or whatever you want to call them. Uh, we took some some of the palms, laid them down. They're super straight. Uh, bind, uh, we bound them with uh, some of the, the local jungle vines here, which is like seriously, you almost don't even need rope down here. It's crazy how good the vines are. We don't have anything in the States that even compares that I've used. But, um, you know, one up from this is to throw some palm leaves on top of it, make it a little bit more comfortable. But I wanted to show you kind of the finished product. I mean, this is about this is about as sturdy and level as a bed as you're ever going to get. And we've got about four hours invested in this one. And this is a very elaborate shelter. I mean, this is one that you could come and stay in for literally years. The, the Rama guides told us that the, the thatching on this roof will last approximately a few years. And so this is a, a type of shelter that's, that's long term. And that's kind of what we're focusing on here. We're, we're adding to skills that we already have as instructors and learning new techniques from guys who are just phenomenal at what they do. I mean, this is their lifestyle. They do this all the time. So. Uh, it's been a real honor and a real privilege to get to learn some of these new techniques with uh, the best of the best. And um, we're just going to keep trucking on. I mean, we're learning shelter, water, fire, food, uh, all kinds of techniques and eating good fish and having a great time. So this has been really well worth the trip and uh, it was well worth the effort to take out the time to build such a great shelter.